I think it really comes back to a diminished press corps around our country. Journalism is not a rich industry. A lot of journalism outlets have to rely on churning out quicker stories in order to kind of keep readers. Most people don't have the luxury of time to follow up with someone and wait for someone to get around to replying to their email. Not every writer has the opportunity to be at a place that will allow you to take that time um, and will allow you to invest the resources that you need in order to make uh, the, the project the best that it can be. A lot of papers are uh, just to totally under-resourced and uh, people do everything and they, as you say, they have to grab the Twitter quote. The time crunch, I think the internet has not helped with any of that. So sometimes publishing a lot and publishing quickly, it comes at the expense of publishing more in depth. Too much of the industry now is, uh, is run by you know, hedge funds or chains that aren't putting their resources in. We're constantly chasing this 24 hour news cycle that's becoming faster and faster and faster. People forget that we are people who live in these communities. The journalists all over the country at every size news organization that are working hard and doing their best. And so there's this optimism uh, in the work where you believe that if you could just shine a light on something, that things would change for the better. The part of that is putting the audience into the shoes of whoever we're talking about. That that really opens up our hearts, opens up our minds, and, and God willing, opens up the opportunity to pray for people. I always hope that writing can be a, a tool for empathy and dialogue. What this prize often honors is um, people whose lives are, are often unseen in our country and, and people whose moments of, of suffering is, is sometimes not acknowledged. Like the teaching and like an encouragement and um, real support of grassroots journalism and um, issues that are important to our country and neighborhoods. Try to focus on people and their humanity and that the overall coverage of news outlets has got to be broad enough to include not only the struggles but the the resilience to show the resilience of people in, in their lives we move through the world with curiosity humility and generosity um, as is exemplified by uh, by this award um, and this organization then then i think uh, we'll all be in better shape to learn that i was winning an award for an article that played a part in as it seems, me losing my job. Um, it just means a lot. I love that they are doing this to seek this out and promote this. What That is a worthy thing, because if we can understand the world rightly and see the world rightly, that just gives glory to God. I'm really grateful for the award on that score because of what it could represent about bringing different kinds of readers together to think about stories together and to think about how our values can get worked through via storytelling articles that you spend months on can disappear in a matter of hours on the internet and um, it's really wonderful to have work highlighted as important. It's uh, podcasting can be um, kind of a lonely sport and uh, to know that anybody is listening is honestly humbling and then to find out that an organization that is uh, has some clout and is <laughs> Uh, knows what they're doing is paying attention is uh, it's deeply humbling. I was delighted super grateful um, and just encourage the, I would encourage the uh, Zinger House to, to keep it up. I think it's a, it's a good thing.